What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Remember, at 3,300 subscribers, the new raffle starts. Um, yesterday we went ahead and we painted the front bumper. Check it out, it's over there. And it turned out really nice. I have it out right now. I had it in the shed. I had it in the shed over here, but now I put it out here so I could bake under the sun for a few hours. Little by little, it's going, but it's getting done. This is the grill that I had in the front. Um, it does have a little crack right here, but I'm still gonna send it. Uh, it looks a little bit faded, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the rattle cans that I have. I went ahead and I washed it, and now I'm just waiting for it to dry up. And this grill is from eBay also. I got this maybe about a year and a half ago, a year ago, something like that. I believe it was around 15 bucks, nothing special. It's just all plastic. I was thinking about maybe putting the front bumper on later on today, but since we're gonna be doing the body work on the engine compartment, I wanna get the sides done also. I'm definitely not gonna touch this support that's in the front, that bumper support thing. I'm just gonna let that be until I replace it. But all this needs to be sanded down. And I think when I paint the engine bay, I'm gonna paint these, these side parts. So there's no point in putting the bumper and putting the fenders on. This is the paint that I'm gonna be using. Trim and bumper paint. It's by Rustoleum. I'm gonna use this on my trim parts of my Civic and also on the grill that I have right here. Um, this ends up like a matte black. It doesn't end up like a flat black or anything. It's literally, if you spray it really nice and thick, it turns into a matte black, like the nicest matte black that there is. That's why I like this paint. It's a little bit expensive. It's like $7.99, something like that. But it does a really good job. I'm going to make some room in the shed. This is where I'm going to paint that little uh, grill. Because every time that I paint outside, the rain wants to start. Um, I have this engine. This is the original engine that was in the car. Bottom half is a 1.5 with a VTEC head, so basically a mini-me swap, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you're local and you're looking for an engine, 50 bucks and it's yours. It does have, uh, I believe, it might have bent valves. But besides that, it should be good. I brought an empty dumpster in here and I'm just gonna set the grill up here and paint it. Um, I know it's just a grill and this is probably a stupid video, but I become uh, obsessed with recording now. I wanna record everything and I wanna post videos every day with whatever, whatever little detail, anything that gets done to the Civic, I wanna record it. I think it might be too dark in here. So you know what? I'm just gonna carry this back out there, spray it, and after I spray it, I'll bring it back inside. All right, I'm gonna lay a really light coat, get everything sticky. I'm gonna let this dry a few minutes, then I'll give it another coat. So I think sometime this week, we're gonna wet sand this whole side. The whole thing going up all around. We're gonna tape it all up and get this side painted. And we're gonna divide it, basically that whole little section from here on. 
in a round. Once we do that, we could do the other side in a different video. And then all we have left is the trunk and the back bumper. I was thinking maybe we can take the trunk off. Let me show you guys what I mean. Take the trunk off and try to cut some of this webbing out. I know that this has to stay here, part of this webbing, because it looks like this is bolted on there. But maybe we can cut up this way and try to get some of this off and a lot of this stuff too on this side. We would lose a lot of weight right there. Also, those pieces right here, maybe we could cut those off. Cut this one off. And just keep going with it. And the most important part to cut off, I think, right now, would be the speaker section right here. This whole thing. Take this whole thing, knock it out. That would definitely help out with some weight and maybe these these pillars right here knock them off maybe up to here from here on back take them off and I'm not sure about the roof part because otherwise when I'm going down the road and I hit a bump this whole thing's gonna be rattling making noise and I don't want to deal with that so yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. And we could even get into these right here and cut these guys completely off. That would definitely, definitely help out with the weight reduction of this car. Second coat. That already looks a lot better. Check this out. I think it looks great, that color. Except for the little crack right there, but I already explained that. I came over here and I popped off the last molding. So basically, it's got the two little clips that you squeeze from the inside. So I squeezed this one and I popped it out a little bit and then I squeezed this one and I popped it out. And then the third one, you can't see it from the other side. So what you do is you slide it out. That's how you get this thing off. I gotta pull the one from the other side. But at least now I can wet sand it and have it ready. Today, I'm gonna take more of a relaxed day. I've been recording a lot. I gotta get some other stuff done that's not Honda Civic related. So, I guess this is gonna be the end of the video. If you guys see me around town, wherever, come holler at me, I'll give you guys a free sticker. So, this is gonna be it. You guys catch you guys later. Remember, hit the subscribe button. 3300, that's all we need. Peace.